Hey guys, Pedro 1979 here. I'm gonna do a quick comparison between uh, the Black & Decker Rapid Toast. So, as you guys can see right there, model number, ooh, it's getting a little closer, TR3500SD. So uh, this thing is supposed to be 50% faster to make toast. And I'm gonna do a little competition between this Black & Decker Rapid Toast and my old Black & Decker toaster. So, uh, both are gonna be set to the settings I like for temperature, for darkness, I mean. So, uh, as you guys can see my little setup there. Same style of bread on both toasters. So, just white bread, so, so the same style of bread. So let's put that in there. So I'm gonna do a review on the Black & Decker Rapid Toast in the future, I mean in the next few days. I'm just gonna use it a little bit more just to see if I like it or not. Uh, one thing I noticed is when you put only one toast in it, it doesn't toast exactly equal on both sides. So it just toasts more on one side than the other. So a little bit annoying. So, But right now this is just a competition for speed guys. And that's all I want. I just want to see which one is gonna finish last. So. All right, so guys, here we go. We're just gonna flip it and see which one comes out on top for the fastest, and we'll look at toast quality as well. So, three, two, one, let's go. Pretty equal, guys, pretty equal. So something, something guys that I want to talk about is something that's bothering me a little is that you know a toaster toast is something that's been out for a long time. I mean, it, it, if you just look at cell phone and other technologies, uh, electronics, uh, th these things are advancing at an astonishing rate. I mean, it, it just even after six months it almost doubles in power and after three months the technology for whatever cell phone computers and stuff like that it just keeps going up super fast and the toast technology on a toaster it, it didn't advance much in the last couple decades I mean it's still the same principle the same good old toasting technology that there's in there so it it, you know, Black & Decker back in the days uh, came out with something with a um, infrared toast. Uh, the infrared uh, heating element inside to toast your, your toast. So I thought that was innovative and this is something that I wish they kept. I guess the cost of manufacturing that wasn't uh, profitable enough for them so that's why they switched back to the old system. So as you guys can see, boom, it's done. Let's see on the first side. All right. Let's switch it over. Pretty good. It's a pretty good looking toast. Let's see for the other one. So not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good on the other side. So waiting for the other one now. You guys can look at the time. I didn't put a stopwatch timer on there. I should have, but you guys can see it in the uh, in the videos while it's running so you can see how much time it takes so this is one of the aspects that I liked about that toaster I mean it's just way faster than my other one so when you want your toast quick in the morning you're in a hurry or you just you know you're making breakfast and you want to make multiple toast or you, you want to you want to get your breakfast done quickly you know making your toast quickly is kind of fun so Alright, we're done. So how much time more was that? Was that a minute? See, on the first side on this one, the other side, pretty good, right? So, almost equal. Alright again, so this one toasts a little bit more evenly, I think, than the other one. And one more test I want to perform, guys. Just bear with me for a second. Just get get myself some more bread. So what I'm gonna do is place on each side on the same exact side for both. So on the right side of the toaster, 
and we're just gonna we're just gonna flip it at the same time and see which one comes out comes out on top and which side of the two toast is toasted so maybe there's a breaking period with that toaster I don't know but the few times that I did make just one toast on one side wasn't really uh, you know this one side was really toasted and the other one wasn't so like I said I don't know why toaster technology if somebody comes out with a better toaster that can do a great you know pair of toast or just a great toast in like 30 seconds and they can sell that for 50 bucks I mean, people, I know I would buy it. I, I, I need a good toaster, so I know I would buy it. Uh, you, you know, if it, even if it costs $80, you wait until it gets on sale for 50 bucks and then you buy it. So, anyways, guys, one toast, each side, right side, usually the side that I do it for this one. So, let's see on this one. So, you guys saw the previous version, turns out pretty good on both sides. So, let's go for this one. Same time. Yeah, it's all the uh, hours of gaming, so freaking video games gets your reflexes and your coordination down to the roof. Plus, I was uh, ranked number one on like uh, one or two games that I played like globally, so yeah. But that was more back in the day, so still a little bit of a gamer, but that much. It's my system. I analyze everything. I see a guy makes a move. He does one type of move, I copy it and I put my spin on it. So imagine all the people that copy. Woo! Some of you guys who watch some Magnas or something, there's a in Naruto, somebody called a copy ninja, so the guy copies everybody's move on the other one anyways. That's another stuff, so I just wait to see the toast. So finding a good toaster, I mean, this is something that is so hard. You see the reviews online. Uh, most of the reviews are three stars, and you know, it, it's not. I mean, why is it so difficult? Why is there no innovation, guys? If I had some money to finance some research and development, dude, I would come up with like the best toaster on the planet. That's you know relatively affordable for something that would be new technology and that would make a fortune. I would, I would be freaking millionaire in like less than a year. I mean, toast technologies, man, they all the same. Whoa. All right, so you see the same setting, guys. So you see on that side, yeah, it's black. Uh, there it turns out on camera. And then on the other side, it's not so bad. So that's what I'm saying, you know, on one side it toasts more than the other. And this side is perfect, but this side is just a little too toasty. So I don't know. Let's wait for the other one to finish. But yes, you can see for time-wise how much time it takes for the other one. So, you know, trying to synchronize. I mean, I just like my toast to be a little faster and a little bit better, you know. The faster you can get your toast done, the faster you can eat, the faster you can start your day. So. And this is a great video to make. I mean, I don't have to do much except just, uh, oh, there you go. It's done. So this one's a little bit more toasty, so probably I should have let it cool down a little before doing this test. But less toasty, way less toasty on this side, and this side's perfect, so. I mean, let's do a little comparison between those two. Yeah, you can, you can pretty much see the difference, right? So. And that's a problem, I think, with most toaster. When you're just doing one piece of bread on one side, it's just, uh, it, it just doesn't toast equally on both sides. I mean, how hard is it to, to do a toast that's going to toast equally on both sides? Pretty hard, I, I'm guessing. So, Anyways, guys, just want to show you guys a quick demonstration on the uh, Black & Decker Rapid Toast. Uh, verdict, the verdict's still out on it. I've, I've had this thing for a week now and not too sure. I mean, I'm, I'm still playing with it. I'm still experimenting. You know, I, I almost want to invent like a dummy toast or a silicone toast that you put on the other side so it mimics... Well, patent pending. Patent pending. You guys saw that right here. A dummy toast that you put on the other side almost like a shotgun shell, you know, you, those dummy shells that you put in the gun so you dry fire it so it doesn't ruin the action, I mean the firing pin. 
you just put another a silicone toast or something so the air circulates the natural way and then you got a dummy toast on one side and a good toast on the other one damn it's reusable you can use it back to back to back that would be brilliant damn patent pending I don't know if it's a good idea or not but if it comes out on the market you guys have seen it on YouTube and somebody's gonna owe me some money so. anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did a little thumbs up is always appreciated and I'll catch you guys on the next one